Hello and welcome to yet another video of Cornerstones of Math. In this video, we are going to do these two integrals. They are integral of e to the power of 1 over x to the power of 2024 divided by x to the power of 4049 and integral of e to the power of sine x times sine x times sine 2x. Alright, let's solve this. So the first one. The first clue comes from the numerator. From the experience, you might have realized that if there exists some complicated functions in the exponent, then the integral becomes, well, tricky. Therefore, perhaps we should use the integration by substitution to simplify this exponent. So let us use the integration by substitution. Let 1 over x to the power of 2024 as t. Then if we differentiate, we have minus 2024 divided by x to the power of 2025 dx equals dt. So 1 over x to the power of 2025 dx is equal to minus 1 over 2024 dt. But we don't have any 1 over x to the power of 2025 in the given integrand function. However, we can obtain another hint from this number, 4049. Notice that 4049 can be split into 2024 plus 2025. So this equals integral, first 1 over x to the power of 2024 times, then 1 over x to the power of 2025 then e to the power of 1 over x to the power of 2024 dx. So now we have 1 over x to the power of 2025. So this 1 over x to the power of 2024 equals t. This e to the power of 1 over x to the power of 2024 equals e to the power of t. And this 1 over x to the power of 2025 dx equals minus 1 over 2024 dt. So we have minus 1 over 2024 integral t e to the power of t dt. And this part looks very familiar. This is one of the very basic examples of integration by parts. So using integration by parts with t as u and e to the power of t as v prime, then we have u prime is equal to 1 and v equals e to the power of t. So we have minus 1 over 2024 times uv, so t e to the power of t minus integral u prime v, so e to the power of t dt. This gives minus 1 over 2024 times t e to the power of t minus e to the power of t then we add constant c here, and let's write this as 1 minus t times e to the power of t divided by 2024 plus c. So if we change the variable back to x, we have 1 minus 1 over x to the power of 2024, e to the power of 1 over x to the power of 2024, divided by 2024 plus c. Here, let us multiply x to the power of 2024 to simplify the complex fractions, which gives us x to the power of 2024 minus 1, e to the power of 1 over x to the power of 2024, divided by 2024 x to the power of 2024 plus c. And now the second one. If you have solved the previous problem, then now you would have immediately realized that we must substitute this sine x in the exponent. So we let sine x equals t. Then cosine x dx equals dt. But we have a problem. We don't have any cosine x that can be grouped with this dx to be changed into dt. Well, actually we do have cosine x, and it comes from this sine 2x. Using the sine double angle formula, we have now 2 at the front, then integral 
e to the power of sine x times now sine squared x times cosine x dx. So now we can convert this cosine x dx into dt. So we have 2 times integral e to the power of t times t squared dt. And this is another integration by parts example, this time slightly more complicated. First, we let t squared as u and e to the t as v prime, which gives u prime equals 2t and v equals e to the power of t, which gives 2 times uv, so t squared e to the power of t minus integral u prime v, so 2t e to the power of t dt. And for this part, we use integration by parts again, now with u as 2t and v prime as e to the power of t. Then we have u prime as 2 and v as e to the power of t. So we have minus uv, so 2t e to the power of t, then plus integral u prime v, so 2 e to the power of t dt. So we have 2 t squared e to the power of t minus 2t e to the power of t plus 2 e to the power of t then plus constant c and we can write it as 2 times t squared minus 2t plus 2 then times e to the power of t plus c. So we have 2 sine squared x minus 2 sine x plus 2 e to the power of sine x plus c. Or using the sine half angle formula, we can also write this as 5 minus cosine 2x minus 4 sine x e to the power of sine x plus c, which is an alternative expression for the answer. And that's all for today's video. Thank you all for watching, please don't forget to hit that like and subscribe buttons if you enjoyed this video, and I will see you in another video.